So Chris, why don't you uh, take us through this next one? Um, manual bids, and I love. I want to leave this open for you because you mentioned it earlier. Manual yeah. with broad, that's like a rare Chris Schaefer special right there. Uh, yeah. And then my question would be, do you ever do that with Frey? So take us through this. Yeah, so this is something that, again, it's rare, uh, but a search campaign using manual bids, um, specif specifically with broad match keywords exclusively. Um, wow. Only a strategy that I would do when I am facing an industry where the search intent um, can can be displayed in many different ways, right? Let, let, let's say the real estate industry, rentals, maybe buying a home, stuff like that, you know, yeah. where there's just tons and tons and tons of searches. And I know Google has a very good grasp of what that looks like. Um, and I can just throw in a broad keyword and it's going to get that traffic. I mean, it's it, Google knows it. There's, you know, billion searches out there uh -huh. and I don't need to itemize specific searches. I just need a wide range of these kind of searches and broad keywords can do it. And I, I've, I've been happy with it. And the, the pro, the advantage for me is um, cheaper CPCs. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I, I can get CPCs. cheaper clicks because I'm not using because this phrase. For, for people wondering why the CPCs are cheaper, because I think it's because some of the search terms that you'll show up on are the search terms that you would target in a phrase and exact keyword campaign. Right. Really high quality stuff that have high CPCs. But a lot of the searches you show up on are searches you would not target in a phrase and exact match campaign where there's less competition on them. And therefore, you get to bid a lower amount and pay a lower amount, and it weighs down the overall cost per click. Yep. The question is, if those are lower value keywords, how are you getting conversions from them? Yeah, that's it. How 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 do you then with oh, well, broad it, match? Like it, it is it is it that is it that the searches are good? It's just that you can't target all of them in phrasing exact because it's so open, or is it because Google knows? The kind of people you want to show up to? What do you, how do you, the, like when you look is, at broad keywords working with different kinds of search terms and you ask yourself, why is that working? Why, why do you think it works sometimes? I, I think does. the reason is because there are um, some industries and this is such an industry specific kind of thing. You know, you, you totally. just kind of have to have a totally. feeling for it. Um, there's there's just some things that just work and you can't exclusively rely on search terms to determine the quality of it um, because so so many of them look alike or you know really have the same intent but they're described in 1500 different ways you know if someone's yeah. looking for a home in this area there's 1500 different ways that they might be searching for that same kind of thing and i'm not gonna i, I would rather get cheaper cpcs and kind of run the gambit of all these different ones with a low in search and a low search impression share rather than trying to build out some massively you know comprehensive phrase match campaign to try and capture all of them at a higher cpc and struggle the whole time yeah i think i think part i think another aspect to it might be just the volume of searches that the machine has had the ability to learn yes. from over the now decades. So like real estate is what you're saying. Yeah. Huge amount of searches every day. This machine inside of Google gets smarter and smarter and smarter. So therefore, if someone searches houses near me, nothing to do with rental houses, and you're maybe selling some kind of rental house program or selling a rental house or whatever, um, Google will know the, the kinds of searches that that person has done previously or the kind of websites they visit or whatever they know about them that will make it likely that when they do houses near me, they actually meant rental houses. And therefore yeah. you show on it with, and, with the broad match keyword. And the crazy thing is, I actually see a very small amount of that false positive where they do houses near me. And my keyword was rent houses near me and they show mm -hmm. for houses near me. I actually almost see exclusively the word always including rent in there. I actually see a, a very rarely do I see Google dipping too yeah. far into the broad. Um, so it, it actually quirk, it, it works quite well, but you have to be careful here. The con, I guess, is essentially 
if you pick the wrong industry and you're not in the right industry here, this can completely screw you up because you're going to get a whole lot of bad uh, searches. Okay, Chris, let's let's go ahead and, and keep this conversation going, but let's also move it to broad keywords with uh, target CPA. And then I do want to circle back with, uh, mm. well, you know what? Let, let, me, let me stop myself. Um, let's talk about manual bids and phrase match only. I just talked about exact match only campaigns. Are you ever running manual bids with only phrase match keywords for some reason we've talked a lot over the years chris and i've listened to some of what you say and <laughs> because of that i associate you with phrase match keyword campaigns um a little bit because i just have this recollection that you you were using those at some point to like get volume get ideas could have been in the old school days yeah um i use i a, 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 a manual search phrase match only campaign is phrase match only. I mean, extremely. Is this common. a rare stake? Oh, no, extremely common. Extremely uh, common. See, I do. That's why I associate you with phrase the, match. Yeah. The only time I would deviate from that is when I have maybe 1%, 2% of the keywords that you know maybe one of them is a broad match because i'm testing something and maybe a few of them are exact match because they're only two or one word keywords and i i, I want to i want to buckle them down but yeah that is extremely common now why do you do that what's the pro or no why do you do that oh because my favorite match type is phrase Period. but why, why don't but why, why don't you want to throw those exact match keywords in there um, sometimes when you're doing phrase only, I don't, I don't see it. I don't, I don't see a re I mean, I don't see any reason to duplicate the keyword. So the perfect keyword for me is a three word keyword, uh, phrase match. I mean, what, cause you, I, the, I have, the benefit of the volume and the benefit of the, the kind of quality that comes yes. from using a lot of words. Yeah. There's no reason to go to exact because I already have the phrase match there. The only reason I would go to exact uh, later in the campaign is when I find that one particular keyword is performing very well in one particular and exact, and I want to get more. I want to push one the search term. On yeah. And then you want to get more of it. Exactly. Yeah. It is, it. it is incredible. The, the variety of results you can get from phrase match keywords, depending on how many words you put in the phrase and the words that you put in the phrase mm -hmm. and the order you use them in. Um, there's yeah. definitely phrase match keywords that should just be, given up on very quickly and get horrible <laughs> results. And then there's phrase match keywords that can accomplish what you're talking about, which get amazing quality, amazing conversion rates and get you the benefit of a phrase match of updated phrase match. Yeah. yeah, Chris. So that, that phrase match one can bring in a lot of volume, a lot of quality volume. Do you think, do you think that could potentially be the most common kind of campaign people run, forget the broad match or forget the, manual bids versus automated bids yeah but just phrase match keywords is that a good place for people to start yeah uh oh gosh um oh that's a different question yes i think it's a great place to start yes phrase match is okay. a great place yeah. to start yeah absolutely yeah 